Pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for coming. How did you even hear about this? Uh, I watched the interview yeah. with you and Del Medico at uh, Windows Storm Online. So I watched the entire interview. And oh, okay. And uh, then you just reached out? Yep. How, how did you get over? Did you call me or? I believe, um, I believe I uh, connected you on LinkedIn. Okay. We were messaging you on LinkedIn. <clears throat> All right. So uh, tell me about your background. Done anything with the government work before? What, what's been Not the government work, just a residential contractor. I've done some uh, work for like property management firms, you know, like some bigger projects, but pretty much just general contractor, roofing, siding guy. Okay. So what, what piqued your interest about the, the federal side? Just uh, expanding the business a little bit and, okay. and getting higher tickets. Did, did you have any particular uh, expectation when you got here? Yes, I had a few. Pretty much wanted um, wanted to learn how to bid and how government work is different okay. from general contracting. And just wanted to learn more about the side of it. Okay. You've been here for three days, most of it. Um, I know you had a few things that you were taking care of. So overall, um, you feel like we covered everything pretty much A to Z? Yeah. You feel comfortable if you have any questions or problems? You know where to go to get them? Get your answers? Absolutely. Right. One of the things that we often ask people at the end of the workshop, is because everybody pays the same to get in, they've got to make an investment, significant time investment, three days here, plus your travel, plus the investment of money, so what would you tell somebody else that was, didn't know anything about government contracts, but they thought they were expecting, expecting uh, they wanted to expand their business, and they thought this might be a what would you tell somebody if they saw you in the, one of the interviews on uh, Sure. I think it's, uh, it's what you made out of it. Uh, if you're brand new contractors, you can come here and pretty much learn, you know, right away and start bidding right away. But... Uh, my concern with myself and people like me who have been in business for years uh, that it's hard to focus like this requires focus and it requires your inner energy to put in if you really want to do it if you want to get on government work you can come here and be ready for it pretty much just go out and start doing like if i would do this five years ago i probably would be a government contractor for the last five years what would you tell anthony Delmed? because you wouldn't even know about us except that he asked us to come down to Phoenix to a little interview and then you'd have to see the interview. What would you tell him about the fact that he did that interview and that you had the opportunity to see that? What would you say to him about it? I mean, it's, it's worth it. Like, it's worth um, spreading the word about it because it's definitely, it's a, it's a great training for anybody who wants to be trained. Like, what I mean by that is, this is worth spreading, like te TEDx, right? Right. So ideas worth spreading. This right. is worth spreading. Now, one of the things that uh, we promote this as is we say it's the best and most powerful business training event ever created. A lot of the content in here, some percentage of it, has nothing to do necessarily with federal contracting. It has to do with sure. new ideas of thinking, new ways of communicating with other people, new scripting. If somebody says this, here's a way to respond. It's, different than what you may have been taught before. What would you tell somebody about that part of the workshop? Right? So this class really helps to understand how to sell yourself and how to justify uh, expenses that most contractors are willing to eat. And I know myself, I, I ate so many expenses over the years or, and, or walk away from so many jobs that training like this helps you to have different mentality, to be firmer for your time that you're in the risky business, you can demand uh, payments even if you didn't do the physical work maybe, but you did have overhead, you, you were you know, involved in the project, yes, maybe you didn't even get it, like termination for convenience, for example. That was brilliant for me to understand it. I'm like, I should have that in my residential contracts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. You know, you want to cancel, it's fine, because I know myself, like, if, if homeowner want to cancel with me, I always felt bad even charging cancellation fee. Right. Now I'm challenging, like, maybe it's the right decision to charge that. If you had been here five years ago and never did a federal contract, 
how much more money might you have made in the business you have, never just what you learned here sure. on better ways of running a business, better ways of thinking about and how you communicate with people that you're doing business with, how much more money would you have made over the last five years, do you think, than you did make? It's very hard to say. I'm, I'm very conservative, so I, I didn't come here, but I took, what, 20 other jobs. <coughs> so with my business, I've been growing like 30% every year. Uh, with this stuff, and just like anything else, I wouldn't be surprised if I double my business just because you're in different uh, business, but at the same time, it, like I said, it, it's what you take out of it. Because I, we say no, as a contractors, we say no all the time to business. Right. You know, like we don't go to some areas sometimes. Like I know I could do 10 million last year and it did four. I did it for the reason. Because you don't want to every job. So with this knowledge, maybe I would double my sales or maybe I make the same amount of sales but just made more money. I mean, I don't know. I think that's what would happen. If I would have this five years ago, I might not be a bigger contractors, but I probably would be a richer. Yeah. You'd be making a lot more money. Okay. More money than I have made, yeah. If you go to Google and you type in federal construction expert, it's going to be real easy to figure out who the number one guy in the world is. It's going to be real hard to figure out who's number two, three, and four, right? Because I'm all over the frickin' place. Because I just did more than anybody else.